Good morning, my fellow subscribers in the grant community. I greet you all in the most benefiting greeting, and I say may the peace and the mercy and the blessings of our Lord be upon us all. My name is Sister Dawood of All Grant Pressure Group of Nigeria. I'm coming your way this morning to set some records straight for peace and understanding sake. Um, first of all, I'm going to talk about them. Um, this issue of um, country director, country director, country director. Um, first of all, let me quickly make you understand something about this country director of 18. To us, we all ground pressure group, country director is just like a title that some people use to scam the entire nation in the name of grant and then coming to check the reputation or the legendary attack to this name, it is not of a good one that anybody can be agitating or struggling to be. It's just like um, you coming, addressing yourself as doctor, ambassador, or professor in grant community. All those names in grant community have never produced anything good except extortion. So the same thing goes to country director. So that is why all grant pressure group will never be pleased to accept that title they call country director. We still prefer to be all grant pressure group because when you check the record of all grant pressure group, whether you take it now or you take it later, at least something has come out of it. I don't need to start measuring them for you, but something if you listen, if you if you read, if you think deep, you know that something has come out of being an agitator than being a country director in grant community. That is why we will not take that very. And coming to say to talk about country director again, we you cannot be giving people the name that they don't bear or the name they don't want to bear. It is it is an offense for you to give a person a name that he don't want to bear. We are an organization. We are an organization and we have name and we have been existing in that name. And we have not changed that name. We are all grant pressure group. And we have come more than once to tell the people that we are not country directors. We are all grant pressure group. But people continue attaching that name to us. Why we cannot take that name again is because so much money was consumed or went down in the name of country director of a particular grant in this country. I'm not talking about UAG alone now. In the name of being a country director of any particular grant, so many money have gone down. As in hundreds of millions or billions of naira have gone down in the name of being a country director. And then um, we all grant project group cannot accountable for that. Father should not take the sin or bear the consequences of the sin of the of the child and the child cannot bear the consequences of the sin of the father we are pressure group sometimes we help country directors to see that they achieve their goals sometimes if we see that it's not going well we turn back so in this case so much money have gone down in the name of country director and we are not willing or and we we are not willing to take that on our own body already. We have body already. And we cannot take that and add to our body. Because if somebody start telling you today that all Grand Pedro Group are now the country director, what about the millions of naira that gone down in the name of a country director? Have, are we the one that took it? Some of them bought houses, some of them bought cars, some of them are even buy on, on monthly basis, and some of them are living in a very good place in Abuja. They are enjoying themselves. We that you people are calling country director today, somebody is still feeding us food. And all of us are still jumping one taxi and the, to the other in the town. So how can we be the country director? How can we go and start taking the burden of this kind of um, magnitude? Body that have consumed, name that have consumed millions of naira, billions of naira. Although I know you will have something to say that we supported for this to, to happen, all this and that, you will continue saying that. 
So we are not country director, but we will all, as far as UAAG is concerned, now I'm coming to UAAG in particular, as far as UAAG is concerned, we will always be in the picture. Nobody can take us out of the picture except God alone that brought us in. We will always be in the picture until we get to the end of this thing. Why we will always be in the picture is to secure the interest of the people, to make sure that disbursement goes to where it should go or it should not be designed for a particular people to embezzle. We know what we are saying. Every NGO that screened, that left their various places to come and perform screening in Abuja must got or must get what is due for them. That is why we have to be in the picture. And as well, we have to stand for what we believe in, what we have been working for, what we have connected people to. We have to accompany it till the end. Everything must be done the way it should be done with the mercy of God, and we will continue watching. We cannot be erased from the picture. We, being called country director these days, is because they want to use frustration to push us out of the system because we should be we will we will be afraid of being a country director because there's nothing in our hand then if we are afraid of being called the country director in the public we will be afraid of jungle justice because what they are why they are calling us country director is because they want the masses to believe that we are the one holding what is meant for them and you can be going you don't know who knows you. They will say, that is him, that is him. That is the person who don't want this money to be disbursed. That is one of the members of all grand pressure group that hijacked the money. Then anything can happen in the street. And nobody to be, you will not see anybody to be blamed com as in completely, except those that are telling you in the media that this person is a country director. While we continue, now in fact we are hiding ourselves. In the name of country director. And um, in the name of um, we stopping the money not to be disbursed. And this is completely upside down truth upside down truth that they, are, they believe that they are giving to you so coming to the issue of bundle head we have already said it that we will see this thing till the end of it we will be in the picture and nobody will erase our name from this very project as far as UAG is concerned so bundle heads it's a very complicated matter to be treated. But thank God, God being a merciful God, he will give everybody what they deserve, and we will see it through. Bondo head provision has, ordinarily, UAAG is not supposed to have any direct business with Bondo head. But um, the way it goes now, UAAG have provide, have make a provision for bundle head with the CEOs. But UAAG did not have anything to do with how many bundle a CEO sold or how many, all those bundle, bundle. UAAG did not sell bundle to anybody. As UAAG stakeholders or management did not sell bundle to If they sell bundle to anybody, then anybody who used the name of UAAG to sell bundle to you will be answerable to that. Although I'm not the spokesperson of UAAG, but from where we are operating from, from where we are operating from, every bundle head matter will be treated by the CEOs. So if you say bundle, one, two, three, four, up to 100 to anybody, when your money comes to you, then you will see, or you will sit with your bundle head, or think of what you are going to do to pay them back. But the major concern is the CEO and the beneficiaries. But the bundle head cannot be left outside this very talk. So UAG did not sell bundle to anybody. And as I'm talking to you now, you might be having or you might be expecting one or two bundles or three bundles. Or five bundles highest, maybe. But if it happens like this and you have already sold them 100 bundles to people, it is left for you now to call your bundle head and reach some kind of understanding so that problem will not be too much after disbursement. So everything will definitely be okay. And coming to money has dropped or money have not dropped, for, from our own side, the moment money hit the beneficiary NGO, that means, that means disbursement have started. 
the moment money hit the beneficiary NGO, that means disbursement have started. And if money hit the beneficiary NGO, we will know because we are in the picture. So this is the bitter truth. As I'm talking to you now, the beneficiary NGOs money have not hit it. Somebody said in a, in a video or a news that a money happens to can say that money have um, dropped. I don't know, or the person don't know what Apostle Ken means, or I don't know if Apostle Ken even said this. I don't know if he said this. I don't know where he said this. But the truth is this, if money drop in the beneficiary NGO, which Apostle Ken is one of the major beneficiary NGO, I believe, or is the major beneficiary NGO, I believe we will know. So, and he cannot risk it because how can you say money have hit the beneficiary NGO and then um, the money will continue being there? Do you know something is watching you? So that one is not what I can say much, but there is serious progress. There is serious progress. There are so many bridges we don't think we will even meet to yesterday to even talk of crossing them, but we met them and we have crossed them. Every thing that needed to be done, from our to our, from our own side, we have done the lessons have been whatever everything that needed to be signed, we have done our own part. The clear, the, I think the clearance have been signed. The clearance have been signed. Then we have already known how it goes. So, like as I'm saying, by God's grace, in the mercy of Allah, anything can happen anytime because. There's so many things that we don't know will come up yesterday. It has come and we have solved it and we are still moving. So, by God's grace, we believe that money can still come. I thank God. It is no more a matter of there's no money anywhere. Because even the people that said that there's no money anywhere yesterday, they have finally admitted that um, there's money, but um, whatever, whatever they add, it doesn't matter anymore. So, and what really matters now is disbursement. How disbursement will hit us because we are suffering. We are suffering, seriously. We know many people bought cars, bought houses in the name of UAAG. We know how many people make millions of naira. But as I'm talking to you now, <laughs> I'm still jumping one taxi to another. So if I don't believe in disbursement, in fact, I'll be the biggest loser if I continue making this kind of numbers of enemy, because somebody is my friend yesterday, today, he's in busy insulting me all over the social media, instigating the people against me. But it doesn't really matter, because I know what I'm working towards. If I have it, I am a winner already. And this is the purpose why I just want to be clean, to some certain extent. And this is why I will always come. Because I, it has gotten to the stake that I will be tired and I'm tired already and I want to leave the social media or the grand social media. After all, if money is bought tomorrow, I will still get my own. It doesn't matter whether I'm come to, I come to the social media to talk or not. Well, it doesn't matter if I listen to people or not. My money will definitely come to me, no matter what happens. Except, even if I'm not alive, self, the money will still enter the account. But the truth is this, if you leave, I leave, I discover that if I leave the social media without coming to talk some certain things, some huge lumps will come and take over the social media, they will scatter the whole thing. They will start a war and they will run away and go and hide. They will start a war, they will run away and go and hide. Because they cannot even, they cannot confront any, any disaster when it comes to the masses. They cannot confront it. They cannot even go to any office to confront anybody. And they have never done that before. They are only sitting down behind the social media, making videos or making voice notes just to make name so we cannot leave the social media for them to destroy what we have built definitely we will be in this very movement and we will see it to the end nobody can use intimidation to chase us out of the media all in the name of insulting this one insulting this one no it doesn't work like that we started it together we are going to finish it together and it's going to be successfully ended it will be happy happy ever after so please, my people, believe that disbursement is coming and we are very, very close and it can be any moment from now by the special mercy of God. I don't used to say this. I'm not the kind of person that usually come and, you know, but what I see from where I'm hearing from, 
believe me, there is disbursement by the corner, inshallah. And I don't wish to be deceived by anybody. And you know me before now. No matter how you use my brain, if you use my brain for 100 years, the moment I discover the truth, I will come and say it. I will split myself from your behind, from behind you. I will not be with you again. But from now, what I'm seeing, this blood is there and it's coming by the special mercy of God. But the issue that it has dropped, believe me, <laughs> I'm one of the persons that will receive first if money drop. And I don't think it will take more than 24 hours for me to leave this condition that I'm into right now. I will allow money to be in that account without me getting my own. It will not go easy. No matter how you hate me, you have to disburse to me. So, believe me, everything will be okay, inshallah. And we are praying seriously to end this matter within this February by the special mercy of Allah. Because we thought it's going to be last month. We thought it's going to be first or second week of this month. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. But this month, by the special mercy of Allah, we are still waiting for His mercy to lead us out of this. Because, in fact, me too, I'm tired already. Because it seems like I'm, I continue making more enemies every single day. My enemies are, are, are increasing. So everything will be okay, inshallah. Thank you, my people. And I believe that um, what I have said now, we understood ourselves clearly. We Remember, we are agitators, all grand project, we are not country directors. We cannot bear that body. We cannot pay what those people that call themselves country directors have extorted from people in the name of grant. But we can help UAAG to disburse this money evenly. And it will get to everybody that subscribe for it genuinely. Thank you, my people. Once again, my name is Mr. Daoud of All Grand Project Group of Nigeria. I I admonish all the all the bundle heads to be calm and go close to their CEOs. Definitely. And uh, on this case as well, I think um, I have said this before. We should acknowledge the work of tick tanks especially after disbursement because they have a lot to do because they are the ones that combine the CEOs of UAAG and whatever it takes us to work with them as well after disbursement to see that all the CEOs under that canopy get connected or pay their bundle head I think we will do so inshallah thank you my people